Hello, hello, hello. This is your live streamer, Freeman Sullivan. We're out here in Oakland at the uh, 14th and Broadway, and we're uh, covering the Oakland Climate Mobilization March here for uh, climate against climate change. And the march is just arriving. It started out at Lake Merritt. I didn't go on the march. Uh, you know, I am disabled, but I'm down here and uh, not too bad, not too bad. There's Steve Zeltzer, a member of the KPFA Stream Collective. Anyway, glad you could join us. Uh, I managed to scope out the, uh, the march from the bus at Lake Merritt, and uh, there was a couple thousand people, it looked like, as I went by. Beautiful day here in Oakland, almost 70 degrees. What is it not beautiful at Oakland? Lots and lots of people. They're going to uh, go a roundabout way with the march, I would imagine. And again, we're here in Oakland at 14th of Broadway at Oscar Grand Plaza. Everybody seems to be in good spirits today. I'm with your live streamer, Freeman Sullivan. And we're here in downtown Oakland with the Climate Mobile March for Climate Mobilization. Let's see a few people I know, as usual. Crowd, good turnout today. Uh, this is one in a series of marches around the country. Uh, I don't know if many of you know this, but the Paris March, uh, the French government has declared a three month moratorium on demonstrations. So we are not sure if the, the Paris March is going to be happening or not. 
but uh, that's why we're out here in Oakland. And uh, we're going to be down here at Franco Gawa Plaza, Oscar Grand Plaza, until 5, 5 p.m. today. So if you're in the Bay Area, come by and join us. A lot of Bernie Sanders supporters here, as you would expect. I don't see too many Hillary, uh, Hillary signs. No, we don't think she's our friend on climate change, do we now? Hey, Steve. Looks like there's more people than I even thought there was going to be.
I see a lot of familiar faces here, as usual. Not too bad, not too bad. We got a lot of balls to just stand here. Oh yeah, well, I mean, people can... It's a friendly crowd. It's a friendly crowd. Uh, so far. Well, these environmental ones barely get... It's the Black Lives Matter ones because the cops come down so hard on them. I think I just read something that you wrote about the, all the people that are saying we are all Paris. Yeah. How obnoxious that is. We're all sitting ducks for ISIS. We're sitting ducks for the Pentagon. Yeah, right. And the Pentagon is actually the number one contributor to climate change Absolutely. in the world. Absolutely. So, the US military, every place they go, they just leave a fucking a disaster. Literally. I agree. Not just environmental. I mean, but they got the Superfund site over in... Uh, Excuse me. Uh, that's okay. Superfund everything. I know. Over in... Uh, oh, wow. That's really crazy. Imagine what they do in Afghanistan. Jesus. Am I getting awake? Sorry. Alright, so they're uh, curling around. They're going to be marching out in this direction. Of which I'm going to avoid. So there you go, there's the march for you, for people that are watching. Let's check the chat, see who's on chat. Not nobody. So we are going to hang out for a while longer. Uh, there's going to be speakers that begin at 1 o'clock, and that'll start over here at Oscar. I'll see you later, too. That'll start over here at Oscar Grand Plaza. There's a support truck. So we're going to get out of the street here. Lots of money here. It's not a lot, but Thank you. Look around a little bit. So you know we're going to have a good turnout for these kind of events here in Oakland. Well, I'm not going to go with the march here. I'm going to be uh, moving over here to the... where the speakers are going to be. That'll start at 1 o'clock. I guess we're going to try to keep her getting run over here. Yeah, I saw. We're talking. Yeah, sure. This is Carol Wolsey. And uh, let me go sit down over here. You know how it is with me. I'm good for short bursts. All right. All righty. Can you talk about the KPFA election and coverage, okay? Okay. So, uh, Carol Woolsey, she's, uh, all right, well, go ahead and explain. Yeah, I'm here at the Climate Change March, and there's about 2,000 people. They're moving in from the Lake Merritt Amphitheater and coming on to the area here in Oscar Grand Plaza. And one of the reasons that I'm here is because of wanting coverage of actions, local actions that people are doing in the face of all of the police terror and climate terror and all of the problems that we're having and KPFA radio now is having an election we want to have a campaign uh, slate for 
local community radio and i'm supporting united for community radio some of the candidates are here we're passing out information and i really appreciate all that clark and other people have done steve zeltzer to establish a live streaming team so we have people who go out to actions and we want kpfa stream to be well known and uh, so if there's an action like this, people know, oh, go to KPFA stream or go to uh, one of Clark's um, stream sites. So we have uh, building more and more communication networks for independent media. Thank you, Clark. Okay, and what website would they go to? Oh, unitedforcommunityradio.org. There you go. Thank you. Hi, that's Carol Wolsey from KPFA. Thanks a lot, Carol. So yeah, we're just going to hang out here for a few minutes and then take a walk back over to the uh, to the to where the speakers are going to be. And then today, later on, I'll be doing an actual live streaming workshop over at uh, Answer in San Francisco. Act now to stop war and racism. And they have a headquarters over at 2969 Mission Street. So if you're interested uh, in learning more about live streaming and you're in the Bay Area, you can show up and... Uh, Get a point, get a tip or two. So just give us a second here. Give me a second here, folks. So that was unitedforcommunityradio.org. So we're going to get ready to walk over here in just a minute. I didn't know if I was going to come out today or not. Because I haven't had a lot of problems with mobility. But I, I took a, smoked a lot of pot and took it to Oxycontin and I'm doing just fine. Okay, let's, there's a lot of booths up here, so I'm going to go take a walk up here. Taking a walk around here. We got a lot of tables and <laughs> yeah, sorry I didn't go on the march for people that are watching them. I have mobility issues. So just getting me to come down here and walk around is a big deal. So the march right now is snaking around downtown Oakland. As you can see, we're set up down here at Oscar Grand Plaza. Most of you have been following my live streams know that I 
been around the country for various and different environmental marches. You know, we did have a big victory a few weeks ago when the uh, Keystone XL was re they withdrew their application. Can't say they were rejected because they didn't get rejected. There's another issue in uh, San Francisco talking about the no coal in Oakland. Check in here with the media. Let's see if anybody's on chat. Just took a little bit of helping that guy would walk over and grab him. Anyway, uh, trying to ship a bunch of coal through Oakland. Uh, Bill Takami um, is trying to, he uh, won a lease on the uh, terminal over in the Oakland, uh, on the West Oakland, and decided that uh, instead of building something that was useful to the community, uh, they found that uh, they wanted to ship coal out through the uh, docks over in Oakland and uh, naturally this causes uh, we want to keep the fossil fuels in the ground and coal being one of the dirtiest power sources uh, so uh, the community is united and it's fighting that currently uh, this event was sponsored by 350bayarea.org so if you like more information about what's going on here today you can go to that site March coming here from the other direction. I can play with both ends today. I'm not more talkative today. Lots and lots of great people out here fighting for against climate change and for climate action. Our government has been ignoring us. I think Obama, you know, he's finally said some stuff about climate change over the last year. You know, and rejected the Keystone XL, but you know we can't count on that.
Subject near and dear. Legalization of marijuana. It has a lot to do with climate change. Watch up there.
portion of the day. Yeah, thank you.
I say save, you say the planet. Save, save. If I say save, you say the planet. Save, save. Thank you, we love you. It's not for fun. I want to thank my drummers for coming out and my dancers. <laughs> thank you, Point Myers. I think Davey D has some very important news to tell us. Check, check. First of all, can we give it up for Samba Funk one time? That sounds kind of weak. So can we give it up for Samba Funk one more time? Second question of the day. How many of y'all are out here to defend planet Earth? Now check this out. There's companies like Monsanto. There's organizations and individuals like the Koch brothers. There's all kind of polluters out there that are putting billions of dollars into messaging apparatuses to get their point of view across. I mean, it was a nationwide story about the whole thing with the new fish that they made out of GMOs. So once again, I'm going to ask you, because they're being heard loud and clear. How many out here today are here to defend planet Earth? We might not have the money, but we got the people power. Am I right or wrong? First thing I want to do, I want to bring up Sister Patricia from uh, Chipotle Huey Papaluti, and I hope I pronounced it correctly because we want to make sure that we clearly understand that we are on a lonely land, that we are on the land of indigenous folks, the first keepers of the earth, especially in this hemisphere. So Sister Patricia, if you can come on up here and let us really set the tone for this afternoon. Welcome everybody, welcome to indigenous land. Welcome to native land. I just want to remind you that this is what we do in this sacred land. This is sacred smoke, so please treat it with respect. This should be treated with the utmost respect. This is the connection that we have with the cosmos. And this is what we do here in native land. You are here in native land. This is Ohlone land. So let's be thankful to the Ohlone people. They have been caring for this land for thousands of years, and now we are enjoying it. So let's be thankful to the Loni people, and let's be respectful to the smoke. Let's be respectful to the Poposhkomi. This is the Shikli. This is the connection to our Mother Earth and to the cosmos. So please be respectful. Well, the name of my Kalpuli is Kalpuli Waipapalan, which means uh, in, in European is called the Orion constellation. Well, guess what? Indigenous people know a lot about astronomy. Therefore, the group, the name of my group is Calpuli Way Papalot or the Orion Constellation. We'll be doing some aspect dance for you to open up the space. This is not performance. This is uh, sacred for us. We'll, we'll be honoring the four directions. If you, it would be uh, uh, lovely if you can join us in uh, honoring the four directions. Again, this is what we do here in native land. And this is part of the way we take care of this land. This is sacred smoke, and this is using sacred charcoal. Not the charcoal that the corporations produce, it's sacred for us. This, this smoke takes our prayers to the cosmos, and it takes our prayers to Mother, to Mother Earth, to Tonantzin Tlalicuatlicue. So we're going to do the four directions and some dances to honor this land and to honor all of our energies. Lasso Kamati, Ometeo.
Las otras marcas a todos. Les gustan las danzas. Are you liking? Are you liking the danzas? This is the form of prayer that we have. We do not pray like this. Say it, please. Help us, God Father. And I have a lot of respect for religious, but this is not religion. This is a practice, and we dance, we pray with our bodies. We ask for help, we ask for forgiveness, we ask for love to the Creator and to Mother Earth with our, the movement of our bodies. So this is sacred. It looks nice, right? And it looks beautiful, and it is very strong, but it is not just jumping up and down. Every single movement has a meaning. Every single movement is connected to the stars, to the stars and to Mother Earth. The first dance that we did is with Chilapostri to honor our ancestors. We're going to continue with dances, and we have dancers here from Gilroy, from San Jose, from Oakland, from Berkeley. La Sosamati, Ometeos. Let's give it up for the Dancantes one more time. And let us really take the heart that this is not a performance, but this is sacred. Once again, let's give it up for them. One of the things that we should keep in mind
Uh, for those of you just joining us, uh, we're here in Oakland at the March for Climate Change. This is their live streamer, Freeman Sullivan. should definitely keep in mind is that many people around this planet have different ways in which they communicate. It's not always just somebody getting on the mic and speaking. A lot of times it comes from spirit, a lot of times it comes from drums, a lot of times it comes from ceremony. Maybe one of the most important things that may have happened this afternoon is the ceremony from the keepers of this land because it's done with conviction, it's not done for show. It's done from the heart. It's done with the belief that things can really change. And so you all have to have that same belief. You all have to believe that the impossible can happen. That just because somebody got billions of dollars and that politicians are in somebody's pocket, that we can still win. We can still transform. We can still save this planet. So give it up to yourself. Give it up for the Dasantes. 
and let us move on. We have a letter that I want to read from Congresswoman Barbara Lee. Yeah, we love our Barbara Lee. We're fortunate enough to have such a Before we do that, Anyway, I'm not you know, as they say, here, every drum beat counts. I have another gig. Uh, every dance step means something. Every word that is uttered means something. Every action taken has importance. So let's give it up for the people that's on these bicycles. <laughs> providing us with the energy. Showing us that there is another way in which we can do things. Here is what Congresswoman Barbara Lee has to say. Dear friends, good afternoon and thank you all for coming out for today's Climate Mobilization March and Rally. Thank you to the many partners and sponsors of today's events. Though there are too many organizations represented here today to name, I am truly grateful for your leadership in the fight against climate change. And to the many, many volunteers that serve as the backbone of the Green Climate Movement, we know that without your tireless support at the grassroots level, our environmental gains at home and across the nation would not be as great as they've been in recent years. However, there is still work to do if we are to truly protect our precious natural resources for generations to come. And that is why your presence here today is so important. Your commitment to these shared goals demonstrates why why our district is widely known as the most progressive and enlightened district in the nation. Yay! Your advocacy for social and environmental justice makes me so proud to serve you in Congress, and I strive to reflect these values each day in service to the residents of the East Bay. As a member of the House Sustainable Energy and Environmental Coalition, I have taken your message to Washington, D.C. I have fought to strengthen the Clean Air and Clean Water Acts to defend our endangered species and protected lands and stop the construction of the Keystone XL pipeline. Yeah. I will continue. I will continue to carry the banner of environmental justice and fight for clean energy for all. Together we continue to fight against climate change and a movement towards renewable energy and environmentally sustainable practices across the nation. Again, I thank you all for being here today in support of our shared goal of making this world a safer and healthier place for us all. Have a wonderful afternoon, Congresswoman Barbara Lee. All right, now on that note, uh, I'm gonna have to say goodbye because I have another uh I'll be going to be teaching a live streaming workshop Notice how she mentioned in San Francisco. The stopping of the XL pipeline. So, uh, maybe I'll live stream that in a little while. We'll see. A year ago, we thought anyway, that was impossible. Have a great day, everybody. Remember? Thanks for watching. Didn't people say, "Oh, that's Sullivan, not going to happen"? They got the votes.